we this undergrounding is very expensive. Someone has to pay for it at the end of the day, isn't it? Money is not going to fall from the sky. So obviously, there's a concept user pay. Obviously, if FEA is going to spend that money, FEA will have to get that money from somewhere. So what I'm saying is undergrounding distribution power lines is a very expensive exercise. Okay? And in some cases, impractical. Like for example, if you go out into the rural areas, right, you have to climb mountains, go across rivers and all to get to customers. You can't underground the systems. Going up a hill, going crossing rivers and all that. It's very expensive. And remember, the most of the revenue of EFL customers come from basically commercial and industrial customers. The rural customers contribute about 25%. So basically, in a nutshell, in answering your question, it's a very expensive exercise. I mean, even if you go to developed countries like Australia and New Zealand, they still have overhead systems. The, the entire power system is not underground. You still see steel towers and transmission lines. On it. So not only sometimes, in some cases, it's impractical. Like, for example, as I say, as you get into the loop, Imagine, we put the power lines going to Mono, Monosabu. Imagine if you had to underground it from here to Monosabu. Impractical, you cross rivers, cross hills, go up the valley, down the valley. You see what I'm coming to. So overhead lines, of course, is cheaper and easier. But then we are exposed to cyclones. So, you know, the question is, it's a huge cost. How do you fund it? But some areas have been done, like for example, when they did that four laning in Media for to down at that time, you know, it was a pride of Fiji. All I'm saying is that's where a lot of our tourists come through and we feel very proud that that area was done. There are some areas that are being looked at in the future that we think we will underground, you know, but slowly. I'm saying it's a slow exercise. It's not like some exercise you can do it overnight and get it done. It will take a long time, but most of the areas will not be able to done. You know, we can only do flat areas and things like that, eh? but it's time consuming and expensive, so you, you require funding for that. Eh? What, what are some of those areas? Which are the many areas I'm saying, in the town areas and commercial suburban areas and all that, many areas. Okay. Yes. 954 kilometers of underground. Okay. We already have about 1000 kilometers of underground. <laughs>